and I'm Sayyid Ali Ashar Rizvi and I'm from Curtin University, Dubai and this is my final progress video of CTP2 which is called DocChain and is supervised by Mr. Saleh Smile. This project is used to verify the certificates using the blockchain technology. So before proceeding and finalizing the project, I would just give out a brief um, about the application, about what exactly we are doing over here. So we are going to develop the decentralized uh, verification application to verify the certificates which are created from the universities or the high schools. So this would be an ethereum based blockchain uh, application. So we are selecting this technology because it is traceable, tamper proof and encrypted. So by integrating the blockchain technology we will be able to eradicate the problem of fake certificates. So basically yeah, that's the main objective of this project. So let's proceed. So this video would be totally based on the product of the project and it would just show the whole idea behind the project and what problems that I face and what I have implemented in this project. So let's go. Okay one more thing I would like to mention is that I won't be using the ganache on this anymore. I would be using an ethereum testnet called Robston uh, which is an ethereum protocol as well. So I'll just mention that how the thing works is that we have to go, uh, so we have to log on to the website called infura.io which would let you create a project over here and then through that it would give you a URL for the Robston so that you would copy from here and then paste it onto the truffle.js file which I've pasted over here and the infura.underscore API key is over here and this uh, address you can see this address is the metamask account address and this is the key uh, this is the seed words which are present on onto the metamask which i'm not supposed to show but this is for the development purposes also. so now we would just start the project as the contracts have already been deployed onto the blockchain so i'll just press npm start and it will take you to the application i would just open on the google chrome as it has the metamask installed over here So that's the landing page of the project and this is the admin panel mostly and this would be the user panel. So we would go on to the admin panel first and we would upload a document over here. So I've already made my account, I've already signed up in the doc chain and I've mentioned my name over here. So it has connected my name to the metamask account which is uh, 08x, 0xa8 so I would just confirm over here so 0xa8 so it's like so that's my account over here so now i would i've created a test file and by the way this project only takes on the pdfs and not the uh, doc file or the txt file as the pdfs are more secured and non-changeable whereas the doc file and text file is mostly very easily changeable so i've created my uh, pdf file over here which is test I will just preview the file over here so it's it's called SQL injection prevention system so just sample file you would press open and then upload it would take you to our metamask transaction immediately so that's the transaction happening and it would take a gas fees gas fees is mostly a small amount of ethereum which is used for transaction so I would just go on so I would just click on fast so it would be much more faster I would press confirm and now you can see it has been successfully uploaded on the IPFS and blockchain as well application has provided us with an IPFS hash which you can use to download the document afterwards as well and this is for only one time purpose uh, it would be given on one time but, but like you can save it onto your system so you can download the document later on as well okay so we have the transaction hash over here as well and we can copy the transaction hash and we can go on to the Robston Etherscan testnet and then we can check if it has been if we can check if the transaction has been made or no and here you can see the transaction has been successfully made and one minute ago this is the transaction hash and from my account to the contract address yeah, this was the upload transaction and this is the IPFS hash we can 
we'll use that in a bit now so we'll copy the IPFS hash and then we would go on to the verify tab this tab is used to verify the document so first we would uh, download the document from the IPFS hash click on IPFS and paste the IPFS hash and then press load file I don't think so you can see the downloaded file that's downloaded over here which is called file name and in the bracket it says 3 so yeah that's the file we downloaded from the IPFS hash and uh, okay so first we would go into the browse and then we would check if the file has been verified or no so you would click on test and press open so like that's the same file which I've uploaded onto the application and press verify and as you can see it has been successfully verified the document has been verified by Usher that's my username date publishes for the recent now date and the address was my metamask account address you can see over here so yeah that's about it for this project uh, there are some things which I haven't uh, implemented yet that is uh, the QR code which I had promised in the CTP1 that I would do but I've tried enough for now and it was really uh, difficult for me to do that in this stage as I was a beginner onto the blockchain as like blockchain is not very uh, commonly used in our daily life so it wasn't easy for me to work on this project but fortunately I could come up with this uh, application and I'm really glad that I could uh, complete it on time so uh, in the future uh, implementation I would surely implement the QR code onto the project that it would take the IPFS hash and then it would create the QR code which would display onto the screen nearby the success message. So yeah that was uh, about it and it was really great working on the project I have learned a lot and I would thank my university and my professor to keep an eye on me and keep the supervision on every time so yeah that's about it thank you so much for sticking through the whole project and watching the video uh, thank you so much